Do I have a second? Do we have a second? Any other discussion? This one here will go around. Sean? Yes. Mike? Yes. Dave? Yes. Levi? Yes. And a yes for me. City Commissioner's Reports. We'll start with you, Sean. Uh, the only thing I got is uh, Ashley comes up on her six month. Um, so I did her email today. She didn't cry, so I thought we were going to <laughs> <laughs> um, so I would just like to um, make the motion to give her a $1,000 six-month probation release. <laughs> we have a motion. Do I have a second? Jeez, I don't know. Second, uh, any other discussion? Hearing none. Sean? Yes. Mike? Yeah. Dave? Yes. Levi? Yes. And a yes for me. Anything else, Sean? That's it. That's all I got. Okay. Mike? Um, planning and zoning, we uh, approved the final plat for Riverwalk. So, I don't know. Commissioners have to uh, approve that too. So. so, anyway, we got that approved. Um, and then nothing other than the, what's on the agenda here, so. Okay. And John did make the notifications to the uh, the banner, so we're in our, our two-week cycle now. 
And uh, we plan, I think the plan is to bring the uh, final plat and the final paperwork in on the 5th of April, our next commission meeting, to discuss and for the commissioners to approve at that point. Okay? Dave? Yes. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, I'm not the only one that's struggling. <laughs> I thought we were on the last issue. Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have anything. Okay, Levi? Um, so we... They're probably finishing up now. We did the cameras on the lines. I was there for a little while while they were doing it. Uh, we definitely have an issue. We left water in the pool last fall. Oh, no. no water in the pool as of right now. So nice. Did it break anything? Fiberglass? No, um, but we don't know where it's leaking yet. They're still, once they run all the cameras and everything, we'll get a copy of the video and kind of go through and try to find out. But as of right now, they didn't see anything. Um, you know, nothing big. If we move forward, we're probably going to have to look at new gutters and new liners for sure. For both pools, I can't foresee that the main lines are bad, uh, but the one main drain, they shoved PVC inside the cast iron pipe, the drain pipe, and so it's leaking somewhat around that cast iron. The concrete underneath the pool is old and cracks, so yeah, we've got a lot of work ahead of us to get it where it needs to be if that's the route we're going to go. So. Was there any mention of a potential uh, sinkhole at all, Levi? They didn't. They didn't say anything? Far. Okay. No. We should have seen a sinkhole in the pool if it would have been, you know, even see it in the pool itself. Yeah, and the weighted shelf should have went down. Okay. So, but it's pretty dry out there. There was hardly anything left in the sump when they, so, but we'll see how that turns out and kind of go from there. Okay. Uh, that uh, rec district we met, we're still working. We were debating on how to keep afloat, being that the mill levy money doesn't start until next year. I mean, it's starting this year, but we don't see the money until next year. We don't pay taxes. But uh, with a generous donation from the vet club, I think we'll make it work this year. So, so they helped us out on um, our two biggest programs, um, or based, Babe Ruth and Legion cost us about $18,000 a year to run. So those are the biggest high dollar costs. We'll see how that turns out at our next meeting and move forward. But that was good to hear that the, the shouldn't say the Vets Club, the American Legion donated to, to the boss. That's all I have. Are you working with this gentleman that's looking at the Trap League here? And uh, there's some grants available with, uh, with uh, I think it's uh, Fish, and, Fish and Wildlife, uh, you know. I did. Well, I've talked to him about it. We're working together. Um, we have a we have a meeting set up, I think it's on the 26th. Any support you need from the city on that? At this point, no. Uh, just letting us use the building, which I think it's on the calendar. Yep, it is. Um, a lot of it, whether you do trap shooting or whatever, is finding the financial thing. If you're going to make it a sport, and our second thing is, you know, where are we going to do it at? So, but we'll work out the details, and hopefully there's some people that show up that day so we can that would be awesome if we could get a high school team put together so the guys don't have to go up to, to Grand Forks there. So, okay. The only thing that I have is, is one of the hangars at the uh, airport has sold. Yeah, Don Hansen's uh, hangar is going to a gentleman from uh, uh, Halstead that uh, does spray plane operations. So we're going through the paperwork and getting new leases and stuff set up there. It will be a nice addition for the airport. And I think everybody can kind of see the lights, the new digital lights, uh, if you pull on to I-29 at night, uh, not only do we have the uh, rotating beacon, but the uh, runway lights uh, uh, are pretty bright, so it's kind of nice to see everything working out there. And that's all I have. Uh, well, I just want to say that uh, Ashley and, and Julie and, and Des are working on the uh, reconciliation, and I feel pretty confident that it's just time-consuming and uh, getting all the paperwork, uh, the I's dotted and the T's crossed. So, again, 
Uh, good job to Ashley and her team there, and I know there's another potential meeting this week with them. So, okay, moving on to uh, Jim, Superintendent. Nothing tonight. Okay. I have a couple questions for you, Jim. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, how are we coming on the electrical, as far as what we spent or what we need to do on that project? Or do we have any big projects? We haven't, I don't have a number for you from last year. We haven't been totally built out for it. Okay. And um, as far as the steering, I guess I haven't really sat down and got any plans early yet. Um, and uh, Riverwalk depends upon what happens this summer, I guess. So, um, I assume Riverwalk are going to go over all underground. Yes. I'm uh, working with Board of States to uh, put some material on hand just in case. Uh, it sounds like it's getting hard to get, hard to get the tires that are really way out there, so I'm going to get some material, I think. So. But as of right now, it's still, still early. I just, I, just, I just think we need to probably, you know, whatever you decide on, what priorities on those lists, we should probably get that going on it so that we can get something yeah. done in the summer. And that, but this is above and beyond what's on those lists, yeah. Right. Not the river walk, but I meant the, you know, what we're going to do around here to get that. Yeah. People have just been asking what we've done so far, so. Yeah. Jim, have we been using those guys at all since we, uh, from Gilworth? Just from, from Barnesville. Or from Barnesville, sorry. Just one day. Okay. It was a late morning, and uh, but I'm assuming they'll be in. And I've already made contact with them, and uh, hopefully in their future they'll get together and start going through a bunch of stuff that we're going to do. So. Awesome. John, any, uh, you done, Levi? Yep. Okay. John, anything from the city attorney? Um, just mentioned quickly that the rezoning notice and plotting notice will show up again one more time and uh, Ashley got some uh, really good sized documents from Steve uh, that are in the old commission chambers for people to come and look if they want to check things out so I would expect we won't take a lot of time at our next commission meeting to uh, complete approval of, of both uh, the rezoning and the um, plotting. That would be it. Um, quick question. Do we have all the paperwork for the EV charging station? Is, is it up and going yet, or are we still waiting for paperwork? On the paperwork part, I, I just didn't think to ask JR. Um, I think we're good there. He's not going to be at the meeting tonight. Um, I, I can, uh, I'll see him tomorrow afternoon, he'll be back. I can shoot uh, an email out, but I think we're good. And we're all hooked up, Jim? Or we're well, waiting for the paperwork now? Yeah, but okay. we need to actually do a walkthrough install program fire up type. Okay. And I'm trying to get an handle on that. Good. Yeah, I'm just, uh, just so that when it comes up, we know that Ashley will have a source of income that she has to account for too, so we'll take care of that and coordinate. And we have to decide, I don't know if you have to do it this meeting, but um, and does put together, and I can bring it to the next meeting, um, examples of what other places have charged. So we have to decide if you're going to do by hour, by kilowatt. If there's going to be any coupons and all those things. Right. Yeah. So well, let's, before it gets up and running, that yeah. needs to be Decided. Let's hold that once the paperwork's done and Jim gives us the word that uh, everything's hooked up. Let's have the, the commissioners have a discussion then. Because, uh, again, Sean, there might be some Missouri River Energy services that might, uh, incentives that come in too. So, okay. Um, Ashley, it's your turn. Okay. Um, did 
there is a property, and I, I didn't write the address down, um, James Lee. We sent him out a letter last month, and he had until the 16th to clean up, um, 16th of this month to clean up his yard, because there was a bunch of garbage and cars and, and everything. And Mike drove by today, and some of it was cleaned up, but there's still two cars that he would like Sean to look at make sure they're licensed and stuff, I think. Did he talk to you about that already? Yep. Okay. Take a look at that in the morning. Okay. And my question is, I, being new to this, I, what are the next steps that we have to take if it's not up to par? I think what we need to do first is check out those cars to see if they're, if they're not licensed and insured, or at least licensed, then, then we have something to go on. Okay. So, well, where is this property at? Um, I can't remember the address. It's just, just north of uh, like the Armory Playground equipment up that street. It's a second house in. Oh, okay. North of Glen Holland. Glum's Road. It's next Glum's to Glum's Road's house. Oh, uh, north. Yeah. That small house. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So just question, what made us pick on that house? Because somebody called in and complained several times. So the neighbor did. I just think, again, we have to do, we can't just pick and choose what we're, who we're picking on again. And I, I agree. I think we just have to have that dedicated time where this week or whatever, we'll pick that. This is, we're going to go through the town and... Okay. And I don't want, I know we're going to get complaints and those are the ones that you should look at, but we can't just say just because you get a complaint, then we're going to go do something about it. It should be. Right. This was one that was on the list from last summer, though, that apparently didn't get taken care of either. So that's why I signed the letter that Jess put together and I had it sent out because, and I looked at pictures and Mike went over and looked at it before we sent the letter out and he okayed me to send the letter out. I think if somebody complains, we, we definitely have to, but I understand that right. that's not the only one that we need to say. Well, and my point is that we, so now we did this one, but we haven't done any for a long time. So I don't think it looks good to say that we're just going to pick on one person or one household. When, I mean, you know, some of them have been that you can't even walk down the sidewalk because they got so much stuff on it. So Why well, you go right next door and find the same thing? Yeah, yeah. Right. right. That's, yeah. But I don't know if we say, you know, if we can have, it's not that Des has to go or somebody in the office or somebody goes around and just takes pictures and says, these are the houses, and they do it once a month or once every couple of weeks or whatever, just so we're more consistent about it is what I do. Like a designated job. Designated part of the job. Right. I mean, I don't think we need to decide, but if you can kind of find time for Des or right. me or yourself to spend, I, mean, I did it last summer and it took me a couple hours. Right. So my question is, is that we got cleanup week that we're going to talk about a little bit down the list. Is there a way that we can link to cleanup week to get some of these uh, notifications out and? Uh, right. See if we can take and coordinate, maybe getting rid of some of that stuff. Yeah. It'd kind of be nice to have a whole package that would work that way. So, because yeah, the one house I, I thought was worse to the west than the one you guys are looking at right now. But and all of those things are a matter of opinion. Where if you have the same person going <laughs> yeah. every time, then it's the same opinion every right. time. And I'll talk to Des and Julie and they'll. Okay. figure something out, so. There's um, about a half dozen or so houses that are constant problems, so those will be the ones that catch yeah. the most scrutiny. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't mean if you get them to clean it up, it's going to be the same way next year. <laughs> <laughs> but some of them, to... it's turning into house hazard. When you have yep. grass this high or whatever else, we're going to yep. end up with all yes. the other things. Yep. So. Yep. It's amazing how many people I caught just trying to put hay bales around their house this last year. <laughs> Just do a patrol and, and they're outside so you can't. That's so. I mean, I know it doesn't take long, that's for sure. So. Yeah, and it, the grass is going to be another issue that we have to look forward to this summer, too. So, okay. Anything else, Ashley? 
Yep, and then like Terry talked about earlier, um, it's actually Mark, Julie, and I have been doing, have been working on the audit stuff, and um, Mark is all the way through 2018. I got January to balance. Now I'm working on February, and we have a meeting with the state auditors on Wednesday again, just to touch base and see where we're at. So um, that's still a work in progress. The website is live now, so if you do the hillsborough ndus you'll see the, the new website is up and looks really good. Um, and that is all I have. Okay. Well, Steve's not here tonight. Uh, anything Steve from... Steve just walked in. No, no, no. No, Steve on. So oh, for the sheriff's the department? <laughs> okay. Steve, your timing is impeccable. We're right just in time, uh, you know, here. So we're going to turn it over to you. Uh, the AE2S task order number five is the first one for the Army wall removal inspection, and it's not a load-bearing uh, wall the way it looks. So we'll let you take over there at 8.1. Thanks. I, uh, I did do the Pledge of Allegiance in Grand Forks. At their city council meetings, I'm covered here. <laughs> I think we might have heard you. So, yeah. not, the, not, the, not the national anthem like you had. Years. I'm like, oh, we, I don't think we do that. <clears throat> Seen all the birds flying away. Um, so, yeah, they, the, uh, we had uh, Jay come down to a structural evaluation on the uh, uh, wall and determined it was a non load uh, bearing wall. And uh, forward to that report um, to Ashley. And Mike, I send that to you too. I can't remember who I sent it to, but then then we also have the task order just to um, so we have a place to bill you from. Um, that was about it on the uh, on the wall. There might we just needed like uh, twelve hundred dollars, not to exceed. There's going to be uh, uh, in that case. There's any questions or something during the. You know, coming up, I don't anticipate any, but if somebody starts tearing something down and has a question. And, and Bambi, anything from the Child Development Center at all? If you're aware of the inspector, the uh, that it's a non-load bearing wall and stuff like Steve said? Okay. Okay, we have a motion. Do I have a second? I'll second. Sean seconds. Any other discussion? Sean? Yes. Mike? Yes. Dave? Yes. Levi? Yes. And a yes for me. Hey. So then we're okay to... Yeah. So if you're ready for it now, you're good to go. We have not already <laughs> turned it down. <laughs> <laughs> no. do, do you want to come tear it down for no. us? No. Do you send Jim's guys in there to just tear it down? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a contractor coming to make it look pretty good? Do you want to guys tear it down? No. Well, it depends on if they're paying for the contractors, okay. Okay, moving on to the uh, uh, Rural Water Improvement District documents, John. Uh, or do you want to keep Riverwalk? Yep. So, but um, do you want to keep yours all tied together, uh, Steve, or do you want to kind of keep it in the sequence we've got? It doesn't matter. I can go with the other one too if you want. You want to do that, John, or you want to get up and... Okay, Steve, let's take a look at uh, AE2S task order number six, the GIST map, maps and updates. All right, so uh, this tax, task order would cover uh, GIS updates. Um, Jim had been talking to Lucas in our office about getting some training done on uh, some of their equipment to uh, do some data collection on the GIS. And then I was just looking at that, and we have... Uh, uh, the maps are going to be out of date pretty quick because we have uh, Jordal Development, which has public utilities and streets and stuff in it. And then we also have Riverwalk coming. So as soon as the uh, plat's approved at City Council, we can add the Riverwalk plat to the GIS. We'll probably wait on the utilities till they're actually in. Um, if somebody needs them, we can put them just in as a reference. and until they're actually in and we have record drawings on where they're all located, but we can update that. And then uh, we'll also locate the, you know, when the new sewer line gets put in, we'll get that actually uh, GPS and located in there, so that's updated. Um, what I did is I put a $10,000 budget down. We were just doing hourly services 
since there's such a wide variety of tasks that we're doing, and they're pretty much on on-demand tasks, we're just going to do it hourly as as you request stuff. But then we'll speed up four of the initial things that would get added to the to the GIS. And then I'll have Lucas stop by and uh, show Ashley and Julie and them how to give them an update on, on, on the map so they got some, to, some familiarization with it. And this will include both soft and hard copies? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we can print out some, uh, some maps, too, for the walls, replacing maps for the walls and stuff, too. Yeah, because those come in handy. Yeah, that one will. We'll buy that one from you so you can take that one down. <laughs> It was free, and we needed an map. We weren't supposed to see that. It'd be nice if we each had a, some kind of a map in front of us, too. Yeah, and you know it's so hard to pull them up on the, the tablets that we've got, uh, but it is good to have that discussion every time that we do something. I, I agree with you, Dave. So We can we do like a, like 11 by 17, maybe one with the aerial, one without. And it's just something in front of us when we're talking about properties, we kind of point it out. You want like individual ones and we can laminate them? We have a laminator. Yeah. Well, you know, I heard Houston bought this big, huge 90 inch TV for one of their cities as a Christmas present. So <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, Steve. Yeah. <laughs> there goes my budget. <laughs> Levi move. Do I have a second? I'll second. Sean seconds. Uh, any discussion? Sean? Yes. Mike? Yes. Dave? Yes. Levi? Yes. Any yes for me? And then is the one other uh, thing, task we're working on is the uh, uh, pavement assessment. And I was talking to uh, uh, a guy in our office that's going to do the pavement assessment. And we haven't came up with the scope yet. We're uh, trying to decide what which would be the best way to, there's like four different ways to come in and uh, assess the, the pavement. And uh, we're kind of discussing which is going to be the best way to evaluate it and come up with a plan. We'll probably be talking to uh, Jim and Ashley here as, as we get ready to do it. And, and Dave brought up a good point earlier tonight that uh, with the new uh, relief package that's coming, there's going to be money coming to the cities uh, it'll be distributed out by the state, is my understanding, and on the legislative call last week. And then the county is going to get theirs directly. Um, any idea uh, that you're hearing about what kind of formula they're going to use for, like, a city for, like, Hillsboro at all? Or um, When I was talking to uh, um, Ryan in our office, I thought he told me Hillsboro might get $300,000. For that, but uh, you know, it's going to change as it all comes down a little bit. But that's substantial money. And they said on the call, but I, I missed it. I didn't. I had my earbuds and I was making copies, so I didn't write it down. But they said there's a spot on there that you can go and look and see what each city is getting. But I didn't write it down. Okay, we'll have to look into that. And then the last time I talked to our our district 20 representatives and uh, Randy. They didn't have any idea what the Prairie Dog funding would look like going forward. Um, they said uh, that there's a $1 billion shortfall over the biennium, so they were cutting money. So, But then I noticed the price of oil has been up around 65 and 48 was what the uh, coffers were set at. So who knows, we might get another tranche of money from uh, Prairie Dog too uh, over the next two years. So if you have any info like that, let me know, So, because that will go into to, to our planning process. Yeah, yeah, the Prairie Dog one, you know, the uh, first round came around before COVID and that, that got cut because the uh, oil prices were down, but like you say, now the oil prices are back up and, and now there's other um, expenses out there the state has. If I hear something, I'll let you guys know. And then is there a way that we can take and work with the county too to make sure that since they're going to get their money directly, that we can leverage, you know, our money to the maximum extent. If there's any connections or any upgrades that they're going to do for, you know, around the city, we should be able to link to that too. So we'll probably have to reach out and talk to them. So we may also just thinking of this if we're going to look at a street study, talk to the commissioners, and 
let them know that we're looking at it so that if we have to do Caledonia, hopefully they would help us a little. So, I don't know if you can draft a letter actually or something to let them know. Okay. And it would be nice, that's a good point, if they would finish that gravel road that goes around that they're supposed to use so that maybe we can get some of the traffic off of Caledonia too. But uh, That's way out there. Yeah. <laughs> The other one that the other one that uh, that we have to start watching going into the 23 time frame is how we're going to do. You know, we've had the discussions about the uh, pedestrian uh, walkway either on its own or with the overpass. Uh, we need to make sure that we monitor that one real close because if there's funding that comes to the state as well as the county, that might be one where they can toss some money in for us too. So. Uh, I'll be kind of, Ashley's been good about being on the legislative calls on Fridays too, and I'll, I'll try to keep track with her on that and keep you updated, so. Anything else, Steve? Um, with the uh, water and sewer, the, you know, the water and sewer project going out to the lagoons, um, we're waiting on uh, approval of the railroad permit, where we're kind of sitting at right now. It's all been submitted to the um, railroad for review, and, and once we get that back, we'll finish buttoning that up and get that out for bids. And we have to have all the right of way in hand before um, USDA will sign off on moving forward. We actually got a signed document that I gave to Ashley this last week, uh, so that'll be a part of it, uh, the the, uh, the railroad. But uh, yeah, we do have a signed document now too from road development. Oh, okay. Sorry, I forgot to send it to you. It's on my desk. <laughs> I know where it's at, at least. It's not lost in the files yet. Can we just give you a raise? <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can't take that back. <laughs> okay, Steve, thank you. And uh, we'll go back up, John, uh, the Riverwalk uh, Improvement District documents. I'll try to do this uh, the easy way tonight. And so I'm going to give Ashley copy of what we're going to adopt tonight, so she's got for the minutes. Then I'll take care of filling in the blanks um, in terms of the votes and so on. But basically what we have to do is we're going to be creating the uh, improvement district tonight. And there are, well, let's just go through there. Um, we have a petition, so we have a resolution indicating that the petition has been filed. We have a resolution creating the district, and uh, Danelle from Lowry requested that we call it Water, Sewer, Storm, Street, and Parks Improvement District, and we started this last year, so it's 2020-1. That gives us a reference to the project. And then uh, we are doing a resolution directing that Steve do what he's already done, and that's hire or prepare the uh, initial report on the cost of the project. Then we have a resolution accepting that initial report, and then we get into the more detailed stuff, the resolution directing plans and specs be prepared. And we can't have bidding without plans and specs. So um, that's as much as we can accomplish tonight. On all of these resolutions, it's easier. I've learned this uh, over the years. If we have one commissioner making a motion to approve all the resolutions, one second, and then I'll pay attention to the vote. But uh, uh, just easier for me to keep track. And then Ashley also, if we do one person making a motion and one doing the second. Do I have a motion to take and accept all the resolutions? I'll move to approve all the resolutions. Levi makes a motion. Do I have a second? second? Sean Mike second. Mike second. seconds. Okay. And uh, any further discussion? Hearing none, Sean? Yes. Mike? Yes. Dave? Yes. Levi? Yes. And a yes for me. So with Steve being here, then, uh, you know, um, one of the questions that will probably be uh, raised at uh, the April 5 meeting, not related to the rezoning and the plotting, but I'm sure someone from Lowry will be here and they'll probably wonder how, how far out are we going to go before we have plans and specs, how long is that going to take? 
Um, right now we've been reviewing the plans and specs that uh, Lowry's put together. And um, I have comments. Um, Jim's going to give you comments here shortly if uh, he's going to move any valves around. And I expect to get them drawing for the, the comments back to Lowry this week. And then they, they'll make the changes and uh, resubmit the drawings to the state health department. And then uh, they'll have drawings ready for approval. So I'm guessing they could bring complete drawings uh, at the next April 5th council meeting. Super. I wasn't trying to put you on the spot, by the way. I was just asking for my own knowledge, and I know they'll ask. So appreciate that. That's well, easy when we're just doing the review part. Um, Mike, does this need? Does the plan specs need to go to planning and zoning, or does that just go to city council? That comes here. Just, to, just to council. Okay. Good. And you, you missed, but uh, Mike did mention when he gave his update that uh, planning and zoning did move the final plat paperwork and stuff out of planning and zoning last Monday. Yeah, last Monday. Yeah. And so it's coming on the 5th to the uh, commissioners. Okay. Okay. Anything else, John? No, nope, that's it. Armory door estimate, Mike? Yeah, we got a uh, <clears throat> bid on some doors in here. These are solid core pre-finished doors for the armory, and there's five of them. Now these are just the door blanks that the frame would remain. So he, he uh, measured all the, uh, the uh, hinge, hinge placements on them, so they'll come pre-cut for hinges. But they're, the, they're about 500 bucks a door. And there's five of them. So but that doesn't fix the issue of the underneath the windows where the, the frame is actually rotting. Windows? There's the windows and the frames. Next to the door. door. Then you have window frames. I think oh, he's no, these no, are no, the classroom no. doors. Oh, 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 last, okay. These are the inside doors. He's, he's I thought still, they were the outside uh, doors. Yeah, he's he's still getting price on the uh, the metal doors on the outside. Okay. So these are just the inside doors that we talked about. These are solid doors. So. Yeah, if I remember right, Mike, we need two metal doors. It's the southeast and the north door. If I remember correctly, we're gonna have to have the frames and all that redone. So. It's, and plus the uh, security system that ties into uh, the Child Development Center. So it's not going to be cheap getting those two doors fixed up. So do I have a motion for the uh, five doors at $500 that have been uh, basically ready to take and put the uh, hinge uh, brackets on? No, that's $500 a door. Yep, so. 500 per door, five, five times 500. I'll make the motion. What's, we, the, sorry. What's the second quote? <laughs> that was a uh, in case they had to put a beam in that wall that they're talking about taking out because it was uh, supporting something, but uh, we got the okay that it's non supporting, so we don't have to do that. Uh, so we're worried for fall is not that LDL or anything, so okay. we don't have to worry about that one. I'll second that. I have a question first. Okay. Um, so that's more than what the armory, the daycare had agreed to pay half on. So are we covering the full doors or just so I know to what to put in here? What, what's the... That number also has to include the labor to put the doors in. Yeah, we'd have to get somebody to put them in. We have a contractor that said he'll come put them in, but... It's also the labor part. When we originally agreed to this, it was going to be a half and half until the doors went to five hundred dollars a piece. Yeah. So we had agreed up to thirteen hundred was what we were going to pay. We just cover the extra. It's it's upkeep. Yeah, we own the building. It's general maintenance. And, uh, yeah. I don't remember when the last time those doors were replaced. Probably never. Never. So it's okay, Bambi, if we if you take and what you agreed to before. Then we'll cover everything above that. Yeah, we're okay. completely fine with that. Levi, you had a question. You said thirteen hundred. Thirteen hundred. Yeah. So the doors will be half. The doors are covered. It's just the labor that would. 
Well, I don't know if you can cover half of this price, right? No, we had, we would pay thirteen. That's what we had originally when we first discussed it that we would cover thirteen hundred of it. So everything above that plus labor would be we'd have to take and pay for. It. You, you still want to keep that motion then, Dave? Yeah. Do I have a second? I second. Levi seconds. Any other discussion? Jim, is this something that we can have one of the public works guys if they have time to put them in? Well, you've got a contractor, right? Well, it's just down. Yeah. So it's not like contract, have a contract or anything. Dad just said he'd come in and do it for a very fair price. Are the, the hinges cut into them, Mike? And they're supposed to be cut into them because he measured all the hinges, so they're so supposed basically to just take one off and put it in, and that's the way it looks to me. And, it's, and there's new hinges figured, so. Yeah, we can look at it. Okay, that'll help. Any other discussion? Sean? Yes. Mike? Yes. Dave? Yes. Levi? Yes. And a yes for me. April uh, Armory Rentals, uh, Community Center and Armory Rentals. Uh, Ashley? Um, <clears throat> the only one that we haven't approved yet is April 25th. Mackenzie Melby has a bridal shower that day. Which one does she want? She wants the, I think it's here. Is that a weekend? I'm it's a Friday. Uh, I would make a motion that we move the armory and community center rentals back to the city staff, auditing staff. I think we're past COVID enough and it doesn't need to come to us every time. Okay, we have a motion to uh, let the city staff handle it uh, here going out uh, and then just update the uh, commissioners when, uh, or we can look at the calendar when you do it. So we have a motion. Do I have a second? Is that, a, is that re mass required at this or is it, or how, how are they? Whatever well, I think the, until uh, the, uh, the county pulls their mask mandate, we have to do the social distancing okay, that's and the I, masks. That's all I was concerned about. So. We'll have to follow the county's lead on that. And, and one thing that, too, if, if we do grant the RV, I, I think uh, Bambi needs to know in case it interferes with something she's got. So we yeah. just need some. But we need to find out first because we've been running into some issues. Mm -hmm. And so the city hall staff needs to know before or needs to be addressed yeah. and asked first so that we can communicate with Bambi. It should not be Bambi communicating with us because yeah. we've been running into some issues and things have been getting doubled up and then I have to be the mean guy and say, sorry, that's not going to work. That's why she got the raise. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> she has an issue a lot lately where people yeah. are just showing up or they're like, oh, by the way, we're going to be here tomorrow. And I'm like, Ashley, are you aware of this? So did we get a positive a response? Positive response back from uh, Dave Nelson and Corey about the uh, practices. Did they that get settled? Me, yes, they sent me the schedule and I just asked them to please keep us in the loop. And I was told that the other auditor did not want to do it that way, but he will keep up with it now. And I apologize for the switch of hands, but this is how it should be because we have the book. You guys don't have the book, so you guys don't really so know is there on. an issue that I have to work with Ashley uh, to make sure that the coordination continues you know so that she stays in the driver's seat uh, with the people you're talking to or you feel that I, you two can work no, through I handled it, it. I, I think after our conversation today it was yeah I think it's fine because anytime somebody tells me something right away I'm on the phone with her letting her know what somebody just told me and and then I, I refer turn, them to her. I turn around and call them and ask what's going on and tell them we need to be informed. Okay. So. Well, let us know if the commission needs to weigh in and make sure that you're you're not taking the brunt or the heat of the the abuse, so to speak. So just let us know. Okay. So we got the motion, and I I think I did I hear a second for giving it back to the city. Good motion. 
I missed the motion. Levi made the motion, and then do we have as far as scheduling? Oh, scheduling. Yeah. And letting us. Yeah. And they should be doing that anyway. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah
reason I'm asking is because I don't know if you've noticed this, Sean, but a lot of the trucks, not a lot of them, but a few of them I've seen, they'll come out of the north door, and instead of making the loop, they'll go yeah. a block east and come around by the Lutheran Church, and I don't think yeah. we want them to be doing that. No, and I, is it, I don't remember, do we have a, a no truck sign for here? Yeah, there is one so, on the corner by here. Yeah. We'll have to keep an eye on it and see if we yeah. catch them. And the other day there was one parked under aero tracks, just stopped right under aero tracks. And this morning there was one parked, his back end was sticking out into the highway. So when you make a left hand turn at the stop sign, you have to go way into the other lane just and couldn't see if anybody was coming. So it's getting to be kind of a yeah. mess around there. It was pretty decent when we first put that sign up, so now they're getting sloppy again. They don't like you when they yell at them, so. Yeah, maybe maybe a little more a little list. Should we take and write a letter? I, from the city? Because I've talked to the, and I'm not sure if he's the manager, but he's one of the guys that are always right there. And he says they don't listen to really what we say. So I think unless I got my lights on, it's kind of when they get nervous. So I'll just start trying to make a little more effort. I think it would be a bad idea to put uh, no parking from Caledonia, or not from Caledonia. First to first, or first to main yeah. in that section, because they could park. That's what we paid big money for on 81. That was concrete. Yeah. They should be parking on there, not blocking the. Our main the only, roadway. I think they and they could be parking over there by moods too. And he's for some reason got to paint his curb painted red. I don't know how that happened. Or yeah, I don't think he was ever authorized. Well, to do that. I. I, I I briefly looked. I've never seen a red curb in my life, so I have no idea what it means. So <laughs> He just did that on his own. Yeah, I think he's trying to so he can back his equipment in and off that property. But unless he makes that whole thing an apron, that should be park. There should be a little park over there and get in. So. Well, Anchor is a big, uh, you know, employer. Yeah. So it actually lets you and I coordinate on behalf of the city commission a letter to the uh, Anchor leadership. And uh, what I'll do is kind of highlight that you're going to start to uh, enforce. Yep. The sheriff's department is going to start to enforce not only the parking issues, but you know, making sure that we have safety on our corners and yeah. stuff. And hopefully, they'll push it down to Fultz and those guys to, hey, and I'll kind of end it by this is the first warning. Next one's going to be a ticket. So it's just a bad, you know. I know it's a business, but it's just a bad situation all around where it's sitting. You know, it's just, I think just the way it is. You know, I don't think we. I think we really should put a no parking on at least south side of the street because they park and then they park in the turning lane for people we to... We've got one there. Yeah, I put one there last yeah, year. Yeah, we, we, we added that one. They do park so on we, that south side. Whenever we do our painting on the street and we get those so they look good again, but there is that one there because I... But do we need one on, then on the other end where they come in so it's no parking from the whole section? I, I guess I'm trying to figure out what you're saying, Levi. So they come down Caledonia usually... They turn, they go into the anchor, you know, on the, the east side of that street. They usually have two or three trucks in there. What, what, where are you talking about no parking? They park, so on where Wrights is at, right in front of Wrights, yep. where there's the turning lane. Yep. But they, they've been we've pretty got, good we've about got that. there now. Yeah, we do. Yep, yep. Well, just the other and day, they've been really good about that. Apparently, yeah, they've been parking in there. They so that, have, I think I that's been taken care of. That's what I thought you were yeah, talking about. That, that's where they're parked on their air track the other day. It's when they're turning in, they got the tail out, you know, in, into the driving lane. Because I'll try to stack two or three of them in that little spot, yeah. yep. which is an issue. And then when they're coming around, instead of going back around and then up Caledonia or out 200, they'll go up and then we'll go past either Main Street or First First Street, Northwest over there. I've seen them on there too. Both times I was lucky enough to be in my POV, otherwise we had to come to Jesus meeting, but they just, it's whenever they, I don't think the drivers care too much unless it affects them personally. So if you're They're just hauling. It doesn't yeah. take much that way, so. And that's where all of Paul's gravel that he's worried about on the streets is coming from. Boy, between the uh, facility down here and that back where they're loading yeah. on the, yep. the bends, boy. A little bit of mud, and that's gravel all over those streets down there. So, right in front of the um, lumberyard, you know where they're coming out. That's all full of dirt again. So, 
Okay, anything else from the other commissioners before we adjourn? Do I have a motion? For, Dave makes a motion, do I have a second? Second. We're adjourned.